very good morning in this lecture we are going to see about the shift registers going to start my lecture first we are going to discuss about the register a register is a group of flip flop a flip flop can store one bit information so and n bit information has a group of n flip flop and is capable of storing any binary information or number containing the n inputs a register is a digital circuit with two basic function one is data storage and another one is the data movement in this lecture we are only focused on the shift register that means the data movement function a shift register provides a data movement function how the data movement function is working depends upon the every clock pulse we can apply the clock pulse each and every clock pulse the data can be moved from one device to another what is the shift register the binary information in a register can be moved from stage to stage within a register or out of the register upon a application of the clock pulse. In the stage to stage bit is the flip flop to flip flop. The clock pulse can be classified into two types. One is positive edge clock pulse, another one is negative edge clock pulse. In the flip flop can be response in a positive edge of the clock pulse is called positive edge flip flop. The flip flop can be response in the negative edge of the clock pulse is called negative edge flip flop. This type of bit movement or shifting is essential for certain arithmetic and logical operation used in microprocessor. This gives rise to group of registers is called shift register. They are very important in application involving storage and transfer the data in a digital system. It can be performed in the storage operation as well as the data movement operation, shifting from one place to another. The shift registers can be characteristics depends upon the types and the direction. Depends upon the type, it can be classified into four types. What are the types? The first one is serial input and serial output. Next one is serial in parallel. Out. Next one is parallel in serial out. Next one is parallel in parallel. Out. Depends upon the direction, it can be classified into three types. One is unidirection shift registers. The unidirection shift register in the sun, the data can be moved from only one direction. It can be shipped from left shift or right shift. The next one is the bidirection shift register. It can be shifted in both the direction, both left and right direction. Next one is universal shift registers. It can be shifted in both the left and as well as the right, as well as the parallel load capabilities or so. Then next, it is a symbolic representation of different types of data movement in a shift registers. The first one, now my data is in your left hand side. Now we are going to apply the clock pull, the data can be moved as like that. Now the output is in your right hand side. This type of shift register is called serial in serial up, shift in right direction. Next one, now my data is in your right hand side. Now we are going to apply the clock pulse, the data to be moved. Now, my data output is in a left hand side. This type of shift register is called serial in serial out, shift in left direction. Next one, my data is to be loaded in a parallel manner. Now, we are going to apply the clock pulse, the data to be shifted in serial. My data is in a right hand side. This shift register is called parallel in serial out shift register. Next one, my data is to be loaded in parallel. We are going to apply the clock pulse, the data to be shifted in parallel manner. This type of shift register is called parallel in parallel out shift registers.